Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Got another test with the Model 1078 Level 3 polyethylene plate from AR500 Armor. Let's throw it on the table and see what I got for you today. And Johnny, tell them what they've won. They've won a Fort Scott Munitions 115 grain solid copper spun 30 cal projectile. We have 308 Winchester and 300 Winchester mag. So we have a brand new TC Compass 308 with a 22 inch barrel. Then we have our TC Compass 300 Win Mag with our 24 inch barrel. I'm just starting to develop the load on these so we should see 3100 feet per second out of the 308 and 3400 out of the 300 Win Mag. We'll take one shot out of each on our 1078 plate here. This is the one that we used for the reduced velocity M855, M855A1 test. We'll be at 45 feet, Pro Chrono Digital. We have a clay briefcase for a backer. I just recently got the TC Compass that I haven't even had time to mount the high quality Sun Optics scope that came with it from Sportsman's Guide. So I kind of eyeballed it and we got it close. We'll definitely have to put probably a Vortex or something on this so we can run some accuracy tests out of this. It has a one in 12 twist barrel. We have the M Carbo spring kit in this though. Velocity was 32.59. Now our 300 wind mag. We're going right dead center on the plate. Thirty-five, thirty-six. This is our 308 shot. <laughs> Off from where I wanted it to be. Maybe we'll reshoot that in a fair hit. That's not a fair hit area. This was the 300 wind mag. What do you guys think? Both of them made it through. That 300 wind mag, yeah, still going. The 308 was recovered right here, about an inch in the clay. Nice mushroom there. These do have a pretty pointy bullet profile. I wonder how they would do against level four. I wonder if the copper is soft enough that the ceramic would defeat it over the velocity. Maybe we'll have to uh, keep developing a load and get a uh, level four plate to test that. All right, we'll try one more shot with a 308, make sure we get a fair hit there. We'll try it for the bottom of the plate. Hope we can make something happen here. Huh? Got a bad primer? No, gotta actually, you know, load the round in there. Velocity, 31, 82, sticky brass. Definitely was not a fair hit. We're like at the edge there. Pretty much what it did was it penetrated, looks like halfway through the polyethylene and then just pushed the rest of it out of the way and penetrated into the clay. Definitely say that's not a fair hit. Unfortunately, I'm out of that rounds today at the range so I won't be able to test any more of it but it's safe to say that polyethylene probably not very good at stopping that particular Fort Scott munitions round. I'd say if there's a will there's a way given I'm always trying to find things that can penetrate body armor because after all that's why you guys watch me why would you watch me shoot nine millimeter into a polyethylene plate when you know by NIJ standards it's gonna stop it. I'm always trying to find something to cook up that could penetrate it if possible. That copper load from Fort Scott Munitions definitely probably takes the cake. I'd love to try it against a steel plate from AR500 Armor. I think I have one at home and if it can penetrate that we'll definitely have to try it against a level four ceramic plate. Again, I'm wondering if the copper is on the softer side or harder side and seeing how it would react against the ceramic. As always, I put any relevant links in the description below, especially to AR500 Armor, RMA Armament, or any other links that can help me purchase things for the channel. 
Again, thank you all for watching, especially my Patreon supporters. Until next time, catch you at the range.